So the 147 pound ducking division. Uh, we have Keith Thurman, Sean Porter. Man, I thought that fight was a done deal. I, I, I spoke to people in the Heyman and the Mayweather camp personally, like face to face, and they said that fight was a done deal. That was supposed to be the first fight of the, the first big fight of the new year. Um, you got no one wanting to fight Earl Spence. What else? Um, you got Danny Garcia fighting Robert Guerrero. Um, you have <laughs> Floyd Mayweather fighting Andre Berto. Um, and the list goes on and on. I'm trying to think of some other ones too. Um, this, you got Amir Khan fighting once a year, twice a year. The 147 pound division got to fight each other. The only guy at the 147 division that's consistently fighting and living up to the billing, literally, I mean the only one, is Timothy Desert Storm Bradley. Everyone else is chasing a dream or holding out for big fights. And the reality is the 147 pound division is ready, is locked and loaded and ready. And at the end of the day, you guys have to fight each other. You know, um, I'm looking forward to the Keith Thurmans fighting the Sean Porters, the Amir Khans fighting Sean Porters. Um, Andre Berto get back in the mix, see if he still has something left in the tank against one of these top tier fights. I want to see Earl Spence get the test of his life. Um, but the 147 pound division got to step up. And I know no fighter is afraid of another fighter in, in terms of fighting. So they want to protect themselves from a financial standpoint. I don't doubt one bit. There aren't any guys at the 147-pound division where you look at and like, I'm afraid of him. Do you have a chance of losing? Yes, but you're not afraid of him. I don't think there's no one out there that's afraid of anyone. But um, they... Are they following the Floyd Mayweather manuscript? I mean, take the least amount of punishment for the greatest reward? We don't know. But at the end of the day, these guys got to fight each other. And it's getting, I'm getting weary. You know what I mean? These guys are just Danny Garcia, back Paulie Malinaji to Roberto Garcia, to, uh, to Ghost Guerrero. Um, I, Sean Porter, one fight, no fights after clearly dis clearly beating Adrian Broner. Adrian, well, he's down at 140, but since I mentioned his name, he's fighting Khalid. I can't even pronounce the kid's name. Khalid could be uh, at 140. Amir Khan fighting the Avocado Man. You're going to let him out the cage. <laughs> Chris Algieri, wasn't that the greatest call ever on HBO when uh, Max Kellerman went to uh, went to uh, Algieri's corner and was like, we're going to let him out the cage. <laughs> Next thing you know, he gets knocked down. Oh, man, that was hilarious. So, uh, so kudos to Timothy Bradley. Timothy Bradley will fight anyone. And, and the sad part about it is Timothy Bradley can't fight anyone because of the quote-unquote cold war between the Heyman and um, Bob Arum. Timothy Bradley, he's actually the best 147 pounder out because all he does is win. You know, these guys are hand picking their fights when in reality, Timothy Bradley's just going out there fighting. He might have cleaned out the uh, top rank camp. He has no one to fight, really. Saddam Ali, after him, I mean, he has to find a way to get in. Kell Brooks. Uh, Kell Brooks ducking. He Kell Brooks has been fighting bums since Sean Porter. Jeez, Amir Khan, one fight a year. Sean Porter, one fight a year. Although, I give him a disclaimer. He'll fight anyone on any given day. Uh, Keith Thurman uh, hasn't fought since July. Come on, guys. Get in the ring. We need the 147-pound division to step up. So, Barbershop Conversations. So that's my new name for the 147 pound division, 147 ducking division. So um, 
we'll wait and see and 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 see what lands early 2016 um hopefully my sources don't let me down and uh barbershop conversations appreciate you guys support and um looks like green bay is gonna lose detroit just got a first down and green bay has no more timeout so i think that's five losses in a row or four out of five losses in a row for green bay but Barbershop Conversations, appreciate you guys' support. And if you guys have any topics, just like the reason why I did this video was because uh, a subscriber by the last name of Shaw reached out to me and posed a question. Now, and I was actually defending Keith Thurman because I actually know many of the top people in Heyman and Mayweather, and I actually spoke to him, and they said that fight was a done deal. So we always have to sit back and see, but Barbershop Conversations, appreciate you guys' support. So if you guys have any... Uh, topics let me know and i'll gladly discuss it whether i'm right whether i'm wrong and at this pace looks like i may be wrong on this fight because i thought it was a done deal but barbershop conversations let me know what you guys think about the 147 pound ducking division appreciate you guys peace